Oh boy, look at these geese coming in. Boy. When you get up on Tom's pond, right? Yeah, we need to get our shotguns uh they just bring him tomorrow the night. Or they're going back. Are they gonna bet out in this hate this corn stock? Probably. to go ahead and work a little bit late tonight dig down and find this main so we don't have to do it in the morning found the main we clipped it cut it a little bit so we're going to, have to dig out a little bit more we got room to work to make the connection we also just want to verify the size because uh if if it's a five inch we don't normally carry those fittings with us so we're gonna to have to bring all that with us tomorrow tease and little piece of five inch pipe and some internals so we want to dig this out verify and that way we'll be all set tomorrow so you can see this waterway runs all the way down to the road way down there and that's where the outlet is for this five inch main Let me uncover this a little bit. Yeah, can you see it now? Yeah. If you clean that ditch out, that'd help a lot. Oh yeah, I can see it now well. Tread. Yeah. Okay. Easy, easy. Yep. Easy, easy. That's probably good right there. Yeah, throw those lights back on. Okay, there's the five inch, the old main, and you can see where we clipped it there We're with the bucket. So, what do you need? I'm gonna stay here for tonight, park right here. What do you need here then? Just. I actually probably put the tee right where the... That's what I'm thinking. This tee, if we cut it here, we could probably well, put the... in that case, we could put the tee in right now because I have a tee. Well, you have to dig this all out. Well, I know I can do that. I'm just saying if we we want to, we can go ahead and put the tee in. There's no reason. Oh, it's a tomorrow problem? Yeah. Let's call it a night. Well, guys, got here this morning. Dad's got this pipe all whomper jawed here. Hopefully it feeds all right. Doesn't get too loopy on us. He's uh, got the TN. Can you reach the handle so I can pull some flack air? Okay. That's beautiful right there. So you got the TN. I think you guys can see that. Got this plow, plow in. Yeah, the shock's completely dead. Uh, At least the way it's sitting right now, it is basically where it was before that's well, strange it'd go dead overnight but it was working just fine so yeah. guess the seals were sitting in the right spot yeah sounds like a rebuild to me yeah they're gonna get rebuilt okay you ready then i'm waiting on you brother Let's go
saw we got line plowed in it was uh, actually right here i had to have my diff lock in it only goes to right there basically the peak of the hill i'm gonna just put a little dirt i, I, I kind of gouged that in front of the t so I'll, i just want to put a little dirt in there so we don't have a low spot but yeah he's gonna do that i'm gonna backfill then we gotta go way down there and look for a four inch line to connect to or we might have to connect to the the bottom side of this main that's down there uh, if we can't find it so. cut out that piece we hit last night uh, yeah that was where that... somebody hit that yeah somebody hit that i don't know who would have done that anyway we'll catch you guys when we get down there we uh found this tile line that we were looking for on the edge of this waterway uh got it dug up got it cut and uh got our tie in us kind of tough to see there with the shadow but uh, it's a four inch which is what the the uh, client uh, said it was going to be so he was correct on that uh, now Brennan's just going to get uh, some surveying done he surveys this line first so we get that recorded the GPS and then uh, we'll come back get set up and we'll get the uh, we'll get the line ran but uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a good connection. It looks good. It's some good it's some good dirt on this farm. Yeah, we're gonna try and minimize uh, the amount of impact we have on this waterway so we're going to plow straight across and then turn up and make the run actually i don't know exactly how far he's going to go i see a few flags up there the customer put out so it must be some wet spots wants us to pick up that's why he's i'd say that's why he's swerving back and forth rather than just running a straight line It's like he's going to head all the way to that tree line. Well, that's a long run. Yeah, nice one. All right, all right, all right. Okay, he'll get spun around. We'll get dropped in here. We'll feed in some tile. We'll hook up and we will go, go, go. You're good. Yep, come on with it. Come on back past the front of the ditch, you won't get her in. That's good. Perfect. You can go nose down if you need to. That's perfect. Let me go ahead and feed some in.
right. Okay, we got these internal strings we got to cut off here. I'm ready whenever you are. Looks great. How far? Oh, she's gonna run alongside the woods here. Let me cut it then. Good. Well, that was a heck of a nice run. Customer's gonna be happy with that. All right, guys, we made it to the next spot down here. Uh, we got all that backfilled over there at that other line down here. Had to clean a bunch of brush, but there's an old clay line that comes, see that clay chunks right there, it comes right through here and it used to go down there and outlet. And the clay is old and failing. This was a big giant hole. We dug it up, see what was going on. And it just clay line. And so it goes straight up to here and you can see there's a hole right here. I step in. But and there's a hole there, and then there's right here. That was the clay line, and it went right through there. So we got an outlet dug down here. Let me grab this stuff right here. Away from my machine, because I will run it over. So this was all a big hole through there. So I came down here, cleaned brush, dug an outlet. Hopefully we get good enough GPS signal. There's this one tree right here that we were in the debates on whether it needed to go, but we got all the brush cleaned both sides, hopefully far enough away. We got our outlet pipe set and we don't have a ton of depth to work with, but we wanted to, uh, Keep it off the bottom of this ditch because we really don't know how much silt or what's going on with that. So I'm going to get in the plow, survey the line, and then hopefully these tree branches right here don't block our GPS reception too much. So I'm going to quit talking and I'm also going to grab, we got to put non, we're going to put non perf on for a hundred feet out so that way, um, we're further away from all the trees making it last longer. We made it from the outlet out here to where the Domperf stops. 
we're going to get this started, get the towel feeder started. Make sure the towel feeder starts. And now we're off. Shit. Now we're trying to turn a corner. Well, you're digging. I don't have my diff lock in. I better put my diff locks in. They're diff locks. Anyway, so now we're getting around the corner. Anyway, now we're going to go right up. We're just following this blue line, trying to trace the blue line. And now we're through the turn. So now we are headed up the hill so we'll get to chugging right now now we got we are free no nothing to hold us back so we can get some speed now we're going about i don't know one and a half one and a half but we're just going two and a half but slow it down a little bit i can speed up now that we've got him straight here we're just trying to follow the line i can knock my diff lock out now don't need it locked in Oh, we needed that to cross that hill, I think. That should be good. I don't know. I'm sliding a little bit now. Shit. Rock. Big rock. Hold on, guys. I'll be back. We hit a big rock. All right. Well, I uh, got on wedge from the rock, and now I'm uh, looking at what we got, go what we had go on there. See whether grade. So what I can do usually is I get out of this. Actually, I can double tap right here zoom in and see the grades not really messed up so we should be good I had to sacrifice about three inches so we were at three two now we're at 210 so we sacrificed some inches but we're still thin tolerant so I think we're good to go we're still gonna dig it up just to verify if things all right but we should be good to go so now we're gonna get going back here so I'm gonna turn auto back on and we're gonna drive to go again there we go now we're driving all right now we're off again so we got grade back again and we're back down to that three two three three this is right where we hit the big rock and so we kind of blended the distance by hand kind of under dug the pipe got it down and then we uh back filled it and kind of packed it with our feet to give it support so that's what happens when you hit a big rock. Being the nice thing about that one was we never lost any elevation. We just, we, we have so much elevation to gain. Yeah, we, I mean, if you guys are sitting here, I mean, look like right here, the top of the line's way up there. So, I mean, there's uh, six more, eight more, maybe eight feet more to the top of the line. So there's plenty of elevation here. And we're probably, what, six foot above? There's probably 12 foot of fall. Yeah. The whole line. We so. probably didn't need to dig that up because we never ever lost elevation. You just want to be on the safe side and do the good, do a good job. Make sure it's okay. Make sure we didn't pinch or collapse the tile. So it was good. So we're going to backfill all this. And then we're moving to the other spot or the last tile line to be done. I'll carry that out with pipe. Carry this down here. Then I got a survey. Get set in the hole, but... We want to kind of be ready so once I set down the hole, we're not in the hole too long because the plow's just going to sit there and sink. So we're going to get everything as ready as we can possibly get ready for. So that way, as soon as I am ready to go, we can pretty much head off. So let me uh, get this, help him get this pipe rolled out, roll this thing out. And then that way we are ready to go as soon as possible. So... All right, guys, I got surveyed up through here. We're going to go straight up, and then we're only going to go like 150 feet out of the field, something like that. Dad is dad back there. He's got his outlet pipe. Um, but I'm hoping he can start the feeder, start the pipe in the feeder without me. But he's shorter than me, so it's always kind of difficult for him. So, hopefully he can, uh, and it's kind of hard when it's a short piece of pipe like that to get it wedged in the way you want it. So, if he can get it started, then I 
he can guide it and I can kind of creep it in. All right, there we go. See, just like that. Now he can help feed it down, just like that, and then he'll yell at me, usually, whoa. There's an issue. I just watch him. He'll tell me stop. Like that. And then now he's gonna get down in. Being super Spider-Man. Whatever the heck he's gonna be, Spider-Man, I guess. And now he's gonna hook that up and then we'll probably come back. Okay, and... feed out a little. So now he'll tell me to feed a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now tell me stop, just like that. Then the radio. Now he'll hook it up, then adjust where he wants it, and then we'll come back and probably tape it if it's normal. But I gotta pull up a little bit, and we'll have to switch to perforated. So we put a little bit of non-perf on, and the reason why is we're in this ditch. We don't know. I'm good, plow in! Okay, so now we're gonna get everything, get the feeder running, put the autos on, and now we're gonna try to drive our blue line here. Zoom in a little bit, watch the plow, make sure it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Looks good, now we just wait for him because we're going to have to stop here in a second. And now we're going to get out and hook up tile. So, so i got to get out and help him. So. All right, Dad's there. Tile is connected, so we got to you are. We got to turn our auto on here. Turn our feeder on. And now we're gonna go. So click on that. Free. Now my dad's. He's acting like a doofus. We're gonna go slow here in the beginning. That way we probably too much tile. To be honest, I was worried about not having enough, but we'll probably have too much. But it's pulling hard, boys. I'll tell you something. I, I'm 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 almost slipping pulling. Uh, you guys can't quite hear it probably. But I had diff locks in and everything. This is a steep old hill here, so we're about to see some good slope. And we're gonna be. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, baby. Pulling hard. Pulling hard. Well, 
What do you think, Dad? How did we do today? I think we got a lot done, didn't we? Yeah, that turned out to be a nice run. Yeah, that was a hard pull up that I hill, had to wasn't go it? Bike there, didn't it? <laughs> uh, I had the diff lock in that whole hill. Yeah. Uh, we were. I wasn't sure we were making it up the hill, to be honest. Uh, I'll for you. Well, the spot where you could tell for, for sure, I was. It was almost four foot. Yeah. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Oh, piece of cake. Got see if there's any water coming out, maybe. Yeah. No water yet. Yeah. If you guys don't know, we're it's like. I, they say it's a mild drought, but it's pretty severe drought all year. We really haven't had ever had the rain. This stuff right here doesn't really sh show the true, true story of most dirt, but most of the dirt's real, real dry. Actually, well, that might have just been where I it was from. The creek. But if you guys look, we pretty much went right up that hill, right out into the field, about 150 feet. Cut it off. You can see right where I started biting was right there. You can see the that plow does such a good job in grass. Look, if you guys look at the sod, it basically just settles right back down. Right. So I'm gonna get the mini backfill this, and then he's gonna then he's gonna drive me over there where we got to do a culvert pipe tomorrow, or I don't know. We'll leave the mini here. We got just we got three vehicles here to decipher how we're gonna get which ones are going home, which ones aren't, so.